Hey, this is Matt from the Man Cave. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching with your daily devotion for February the 17th. Hey, today we're going to be in the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1. It reads like this. This is the Lord speaking. He says, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And this man was perfect. He was upright, a man that feared God, and he eschewed evil, meaning he ran from evil. Friends, we hear the same words again in verses 7 and 8 where God is talking to Satan. And he says, Have you considered my servant Job? Depending on the translation that you may be reading out of, instead of using the word perfect, it might use that Job was a man of integrity. I love that. There's a cross-reference of 1 Kings chapter 8, verses uh, 61, if I'm correct. Yeah, 61. It says this. It's going to describe the word perfect because here's the thing. Oftentimes people read that and they'll think, well, I thought only Jesus was perfect. And you're right. Jesus is the only one that's perfect. It's not you and I. I promise you that. It says this in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord our God. Walk in his statutes and keep his commandments. That's what perfect is. Meaning I'm walking in the things that I know God would have me to do. And I'm keeping the commandments of the Lord. I'm doing all the things that I know to do. Am I doing it perfectly? No. You and I aren't going to do it perfectly. Neither did Job. And friends, okay? let me teach you something about integrity okay? I've ran into many men that I highly respected, and, and they were that. They were men of integrity. They were likened unto Job, and the way they were living their life before God, and the way they were dealing with others. It was always on the up and up, okay? When I, I didn't, when I was looking at them, I admired them. I really did. I thought, my goodness, it works. I mean, they're living the Christian life, and God's favor was upon them, and His blessings were upon them, and I didn't understand, but here's the thing. Oftentimes, I would be mentored by these individuals, and I, and I would spend time, and one of the things that I finally learned is this. Listen, because this, I think this is going to help a lot of you. They weren't always men of integrity. And you're like, what do you mean by that? Meaning this, there was a time in their life when they just decided, they drew a line in the sand and they said, from this day forward, I'm going to start making the decisions daily to work towards that. It's kind of something that you grow into because a lot of them, here's the thing, they shared part of their past with me, what they were doing, the decisions they were making, and they weren't very good godly and they made a lot of mistakes and they sinned greatly against God but God watch this God not them God did a work inside them and then they started making the right decisions on a regular basis okay instead of taking the shortcut they started taking the harder road okay they they, they eliminated things out of their life and they added the right things back into their life and they just started living that life and as and as one day came to the next day every day they were living that life and then one day guess what I I come across them years later and I look at their life that they're uh, explain, displaying before the world and everyone else and I'm like, my goodness, look at how that person's living. L look at them. But there was a time in their life where they weren't doing the right things, okay? So friends, being a man of integrity, it just didn't come like that to a lot of the men, okay? And maybe here's the thing, because when we look at people's lives, we know that the Bible says there's none righteous, no, not one. There's none that understand God. There's none that seek God, meaning they've all gone out of the way. They're sinners, okay? And so there are all always is a time in a man's life where he's still learning. He's still making stupid decisions. And, and you know what? You and I can vouch for that, can't we? Okay. And, but wh wh where, where wisdom comes in is this. We decide, hey, I want to start doing it God's way. I, I want this to be the first day of the beginning of my life. Meaning this, from this day forward, I want to start being a man of integrity and growing into that. Friends, don't think that all of a sudden you're a man of integrity. It just doesn't work like that. But there is a time in your life that you decide, hey, I want to start living my life for the Lord. I want to do it His way. Okay, I want to make the right decisions daily. I want to pick up my cross daily. See, being a man of integrity is, is a daily thing. Making the correct decisions, following God. When you make a mistake, make it right, ask for forgiveness, and moving forward. One day turns to two days, two days turns to a week, a week is a month, a month is a year. Before long, you've been a man of integrity for five or six years. Now watch this. Then someone comes along that's much younger than you, and you can disciple them. You can share your life with them. You're living the life. As they look at you, they're like, man, my goodness, that person's living their life for the Lord. That person's on fire. That person's blessed. Why is that? Why is, why is someone else acknowledging your life that you're blessed of the Lord and God's favor's on you and he sees all these different things? Why? Because God is doing just that. See, as we're living our lives for the Lord, God does that. As we're making the correct decisions, as we're not making those stupid decisions that we did when we were much young, younger, okay? We're growing into that. The Bible would use the word sanctification. He's taking you where you are here and he's bringing you there and he's maturing you, he's sanding you, he's sifting you, he's molding you, okay? And so I'm not making the same dumb mistakes that I did 25 years ago. No, I'm a new creature.
creature in Christ. The old has passed away. I'm moving forward. Friends, I God. want you okay. to see something. Okay, here's this man right here. Uh, okay, he's walking down this road. He has a business suit on. It says on assignment. What is his assignment? What is your assignment? What is my assignment? The assignment is this, is to live a Christian life. Okay, to surrender to God, to allow him to work that work through us. Okay, not fighting him, but getting in alignment with his will for your life. Okay, he will help you to become a man of integrity. He will help you to be a godly man. Okay, and it is a thing. Watch this. It's an assignment that will continue on every day of your life until he calls us home to glory and we look him in the face, okay? Look, can you just imagine them? You're, you made it to heaven. He's looking you in the face and he says this to you, well done, you good and faithful servant. You know what I'm saying? And he blesses you. I mean, that is it. We're growing into being that, okay? It's not just like that. So the people that you admire that are men of integrity, you can get there, okay? You, what one man can do, another man can do through Christ, in Christ, for the glory of Christ, okay? Hey, this is Matt from the Man Cave.